your access control MOAC in earlier releases of Oracle applications the application users have to switch between different responsibilities to enter the transactions for different operating units this used to end up in a lot of confusion in the sense that first of all they have to switch their responsibilities and the second thing is navigating to different forms and multiple form clicks so not only confusion but also additional time spent on entering the transactions so Oracle has come up with the concept of multi org access control in release 12i wherein one form or one transaction form can be used to enter the transactions for different operating unit so basically that has cut down the need for switching the responsibilities so what I'll do now is I will go to Oracle applications and I will show you the problem first how it used to be an earlier operating unit and uh, how it used to be in earlier releases and then we will see what's the solution we'll set up the multi org access control and we'll see how easy it has become for users now to enter the transactions so to do that let me just go to Oracle applications I will log in as a super user it's called as operations this super user has got uh, responsibilities for multiple operating units so let me just demonstrate you with an example of a payables operating unit for entering the invoices all right so I'm just going down and navigating to payables super user for vision operations USA all right as you could see out here payables super user vision operations so I'm going to a form for invoice entry all right so basically that's a form in payables module for invoice entry and as you could see the first field out here is operating unit so that means that whatever the invoice the user will enter holds good only for this operating unit and if the user wants to enter invoice for other operating unit he can't he's restricted so assuming that the user has entered the invoice here and he has to enter another invoice in vision services operating unit so he's unable to do it all he has to do it is he has to switch the responsibility and go to another responsibility and how it used to be done was he has to close the form switch the responsibility and go to in our example he want to enter an invoice in vision services responsibility so he has to go to payables vision services USA resp responsibility which is a different operating unit and then do the same process again go to invoice entry form and then enter the invoices and as you could see again this form is also restricted to enter the invoice only for one operating unit so that was the problem that uh, users were facing wherein they have to switch multiple responsibilities and if each of the responsibilities is attached to different operating unit and think about a scenario wherein there are four operating unit and a user has to enter say 50 invoices or 50 transactions in a week so how much of confusion it will add to the users not only for entering the invoices but there are times wherein users have to simply query the transactions say they get a call from the supplier you know whether you have received my invoice whether it's been entered into the system and what's the status so if they have to do a query then again the same process they have to do it is they have to go to inquiry form and inquire it but again if they are restricted by the operating unit they can't see the invoices from multiple operating units so that said Oracle have uh, enhanced the product and at least to ally that's the reason they have introduced the concept of multi org access control wherein the users doesn't have to switch the responsibilities for navigating or entering or inquiring similar transactions for different operating unit
So in the next movie, I am going to show you what's the setup involved in setting up multi-org access control. And then we'll actually go into application and do a, the complete setup for multi-org access control. And then I will show you once it is set up, how easy it becomes for the users to enter or query the transactions.